have studied the function of corporeans in plants. Corporeans are tiny channels which are found in cell membranes and they help the transport of small molecules such as water and carbon dioxide important for plant functioning across cell membranes. So here we're looking at a plant cell and we have um, fused, um, we've attached a green fluorescent protein um, to an aquaporin of interest. So we can use a, a laser attached to the confocal microscope to light up this green protein which acts, which glows in the dark and acts as a bit, a bit like a torch, which is able to guide us and tell us where the aquaporin is located. So in this case, we see green all around the outside of the cell and that's because these, uh, this specific aquaporin um, wants to uh, integrate, so it goes into the, exter the exterior, the plasma membrane, um, and all this green that we see is lots of tiny little aquaporins which are found in the plasma membrane. So with the confocal microscope, we're able to um, get really high resolution and sharp images of um, living cells. Um, and so this is a great advantage to us because we're interested in knowing where the aquaporins go within the cell. And depending on where an aquaporin is found within the cell, um, this has implications on its function. So if it's on the outside or it's in internal membranes, this has the aquaporin as different functions. And part of my work is looks at the ciphering where these aquaporins are found and linking that to their function within the plant. So future applications of aquaporin research are quite varied. So we're interested in aquaporins as they're really um, useful in genetic engineering tools in order to make more resilient crops to drought or more um, high yielding crops as well. So for example, if a plant is able to transport important molecules such as water or carbon dioxide more efficiently throughout the plant, it's able to do more photosynthesis and this would lead to higher yields.